going everybody what is going on it's your girl keisha welcome to my show all right so we're gonna be speaking about black history month so i'll give my thoughts and opinions on how i feel about black history month but first let's give recognition to the late great cecily tyson okay queen was 96 years old when she passed away i believe last thursday okay it hit home for a lot of people um she definitely inspired many women you know, especially you know the sisters you know what i'm saying she definitely was a queen extraordinary phenomenal woman what i admired about miss tyson was her roles her roles that she played she she was very adamant about taking certain type of roles like as far as like you know the, the stereotypical type roles demeaning type roles she was for empowerment she was for dignity she didn't want black women just taking any old roles just to make it so there's a lot of movies and deals that she rejected because of her stance you know like the saying goes if you don't stand for anything you fall you fall for everything right so I like that about Cecily Tyson and you know it's a you know unfortunately she did pass away but she lived many years on this earth God allowed her to live 96 years that's amazing today's time people ain't living past their teens you know what I'm saying so uh, you know rest in peace to Miss Tyson okay and yeah you know we lost a great a great actress and a phenomenal phenomenal actress and just an inspiration to many all right so we're gonna be speaking about my thoughts and opinions on black history month <sighs> um i really don't feel like black history month is something that people really take to heart like you don't really see a lot of people showing like really caring for black history month for me i i'm kind of offended that black history was only one month okay they gave us the shortest month to represent our heritage you know black history month is you know it's our heritage it's our history it's embracing our heritage it's embracing our history that's what black history month is about owning our history loving on our history you know never forgetting who we are and where we came from that's the most important i don't give a damn you're not going to just give me february honey and think that that's okay give me the shortest month out the year took on my happy black history month boy girl bye every month to me is black history month you deserve way more than one month out of the year to represent us no all right so let me give you a little brief history on how black history came about all right so black history month came about through carter g woodson so he is a historian he's an author he is also a son of parents that were also enslaved okay so he decided to then get his phd at harvard university he's one of the second african-american second black man you know what I'm saying to get his PhD from Harvard University so definitely a brilliant brother okay and Carter G Woodson is recognized as the father of black history month all right I got my notes here you guys I want to mess up this is important to me <laughs> I don't want to mess this up so he's recognized as the father of black history month okay so he would how he came about Black History Month that he recognized that in the American system, and y'all already know, when we went to school, what did we learn about in class about black history? Slavery, civil rights, slavery, civil rights, slavery, civil rights. Like that's all to black people. There's way more to us than slavery, civil rights. Hello. Hello. So he felt like it was something that that was needed to promote and extend to the reality of black people and our history okay so he wants to expand more on that so he founded the association for the study of negro life and history which is now called the association for the study of african-american life and history okay so that's what mr woodson did so how this came about was in 1926 he proposed the national negro history week so basically Black history was only supposed to be for one week. That's what he proposed. But then, in 1976, you know, during that time, uh, we had the president, Gerald F. Ford. So he decided to extend it beyond a week and give us a whole entire month. The reason why Mr. Woodson chose February to be Black History Month because he wanted to coincide with Frederick Douglass, a very famed abolitionist who fled 
slavery who was you know he escaped from slavery and he also also wanted to represent for Abraham Lincoln who abolished slavery okay so basically since we've been alive on this earth we've been through so so much I mean you know what I'm saying from biblical times even from now you know what I'm saying y'all better get into y'all bibles man because the bible have a lot of great information the bible's pretty gangster all right you know what I'm saying get into that bible and really read you know you don't need pastor to give you scriptures no go go in that bible yourself go to exodus go to genesis go to revelations and really dig in deep I mean I I truly do feel like black history has been watered down a lot I feel like a lot of things that they do hide from us and I just feel like you know there should be way more to us than just slavery and you know civil rights you know what I'm saying leaders you know what I'm saying there's way more to black history than that I mean people black people have invented black people have fought wars black people have built I just feel like people shouldn't just take our history um, lightly, you know, and just, you know, put more respect on black history. And I don't feel like there's a lot of respect on black history at all. Um, there's not a lot of respect for black people, period. But that's another uh, video, I guess, right? Anyways, there's a woman by the name of La Garrett J. King. She's a professor of social studies education at the University of Missouri. And she... You know, she gave her two cents on how she felt about black history and what it should be and how people should emulate it, how people should how people should represent black history, how people should teach black history. And she feel like black history should come from a black perspective, you know what I'm saying, and not some watered down, you know what I'm saying, sanitized, you know, version, you know what I'm saying, like give us the raw, give us the raw in-depth deal, all right, just, just give it, give it to us raw. Do not sugarcoat anything without history because it's so many. You know, it's good, it's bad, it's horrific, it's all these different things, and we should know, learn about that. So she gave a list, and I want to share this list with you guys and see if you guys agree with how black history should be taught, how it should be embraced, how it should be taken into account. So she feels like teaching black history should be taught from a black perspective, like I said before. Um, pop, she, black history should be power, oppression, and racism, okay, black agency and preservation, and that's what we need to focus on too as well. You got so many Negroes out there, and I'm not saying that black people are the only ones that kill each other, but there's a lot of like, you know, um, interracial going on, a lot of death, you know, with, with black on black crime, then you have you know saying sicknesses and illnesses you know saying um certain eating habits all these different things that can lead to just the decrease of our population so self-preservation is definitely definitely important and i feel that like that should be be should be more expressed and more and maintained and practiced more in our community all right then you have uh resistance black joy black love uh, black identities other than heterosexual Christianity and middle class black man there's way more to black people you know and, and way more to our identification than just those three things all right uh, black historical contentions and black problematic aspects of black history and just basically black excellence you know you have black people who invented every damn thing that you could imagine damn there like everything you utilize today you know what I'm saying? That's a necessity. Most likely a black man or woman invented that. And I just feel like, you know, black history is definitely beautiful. I would always embrace it. I would always represent that. And, you know, we have to be proud. You know what I'm saying? Don't let no one tell you that because you look a certain way or you, you are from a, a group of people. Oh, you're nothing. You're nobody. No, you're definitely something great. Definitely something special. Someone special. And you have to take account. You have to consider that, man. You know, say keep your crown on. Keep your head up. And know your history. Know where you came from. You know what I'm saying? Know where you're trying to go. You know what I'm saying? And leave a beautiful legacy behind. You know, I do believe it's definitely watered down the schools. And I feel like there should be people who actually, you know, live black history. Live the the life of a black person because they're black themselves and can really relate to the students and really can break things down and we can really have that connection you know what i'm saying the people who's teaching black history don't really have connection to black history but anyway man black power and you know what i'm saying hopefully everybody enjoy their day enjoy their week enjoy their month and just you know what i'm saying just keep your head up and hold it down all right bye don't forget to like comment and subscribe all right peace